In this video, I'll be comparing the Nikon FM2 and the Nikon F3 and telling you which one's my favorite. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bullen Photography. If this is your first time watching, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to get more awesome content about photography and film. Now let's get to it. Now if you're shopping for a vintage film camera, you might be thinking about getting either a Nikon FM2 or a Nikon F3. Both cameras are really solid and they're fantastic options and they're really durable and well built. But which one should you get if you can only get one? I'll talk about some of the pros and cons of each of them and tell you which one is my personal favorite. So let's start off with the Nikon FM2. Now this camera is entirely manual and entirely mechanical, so that means there's no batteries necessary. You can get batteries for the light meter, but you can shoot at any shutter speed with no batteries. This is really useful because you don't have to worry about the camera dying out or the batteries dying when you're out on a shoot. You know that it's going to be working and it's just going to be a more reliable option than Nikon F3 in that regard. Another awesome feature of the Nikon FM2 that's not present on the F3 is the 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed. Now the F3 tops out at 1 2,000th of a second, so with the FM2, you're going to be able to shoot at wider apertures even in broad daylight. Now this is really awesome if you're trying to get more bokeh or those creamy out of focus areas if you're shooting something like portraits even in the middle of the day. Now if you like to shoot flash with your camera, the FM2 also has some cool options that are not present on the F3. First is the built-in hot shoe that allows you to mount a flash on top of the camera. And also you get a faster flash sync speed. Uh, the top flash sync speed on the Nikon F3 is 1 80th of a second. And on the Nikon FM2N, it's 1 250th of a second. So if you shoot flash and you need that higher sync speed, then the FM2 is probably a little bit of a better option for you. But while we're on the topic of flash, it is worth pointing out that the F3 is capable of having TTL flash, which means through the lens metering, and that's a way for the camera to communicate with the flash and give you some automatic features on the flash so that you can balance out your exposure. So you have a little bit more of a sophisticated flash system with the Nikon F3, even though you don't have a hot shoe or a faster flash sync speed. Now finally, the Nikon FM2 manages this to be a lighter camera without sacrificing any durability. They're almost the same weight, but it is noticeable that the FM2 is a little bit lighter. So if you're trying to travel lighter, FM2 is the way to go. But there are some cons to the Nikon FM2 when you compare it to the Nikon F3. And one of them that really annoys me is the locking mechanism on the shutter. So if you take a photo with this camera, and advance the film, and then you put the advance lever all the way back, it actually locks the shutter. Now when I'm taking photos with this camera, I'm used to bringing the, the film advance all the way back because that's sort of how my motion works from muscle memory on every other film SLR I've used. But when I do that on the FM2, I end up locking the shutter, which leads to me missing shots. Now I mentioned this in my review on the camera, and it is something that I could probably get used to, but it's kind of a pet peeve of mine, and it's one of the reasons why I don't enjoy shooting with the FM2 all the time. Another con of the Nikon FM2 when you compare it to the Nikon F3 is that you have less overall control of your exposure. Uh, the F3 was more of a professional level camera, and it gives you a lot more advanced features, which I'll talk about in a minute. Now, let's talk about some of the pros of the Nikon F3. First off, you have a little bit more variation in your controls. We'll start with the shutter speed. So even though you can't max out at 1 4,000th of a second like the FM2, you do have more variation on the slower shutter speeds. So on this camera, you can go over one second, two seconds, four seconds, and all the way up to eight seconds before going into bulb mode. Whereas on the FM2, it goes from one second to bulb mode. So if you want to shoot a eight second exposure, you can actually time it in here automatically on this camera, and you can't do that on the FM2. Another big plus of the Nikon F3 is that it has aperture priority mode. Now for those of you not familiar with this mode, it allows you to select an aperture and the camera automatically sets the shutter speed based on the light meter reading. Now this is really cool if you're outdoor shooting and you just want to pick your aperture and let the camera do the rest. And this is really good, especially in quickly changing light situations where you don't always want to be metering and readjusting all of your settings or fast shooting situations, things of that nature. So if you're someone who likes to shoot in aperture priority mode, then this camera is definitely going to be a better option for you. 
And finally, the Nikon F3 has some more advanced features and some cool things on it that the Nikon FM2 just doesn't have. You have the ability to do mirror lockup on the F3. You also have exposure compensation, TTL flash metering, which I talked about a little bit earlier. And just those things can be really useful added features. So when you're looking at these cameras, if you want those things, uh, the F3 is probably a better option for you. So when you're comparing these two cameras and you're looking at those feature sets, the F3 might stick out a little bit more to you and be the option that you wanna go with. But let's talk about some of the cons of the F3 compared to the Nikon FM2. The big one for me is that it has an electronically controlled shutter, which means that you need a battery to shoot with this camera. Now it does have a mechanical shutter at 1 60th of a second, so if your batteries die, you still are able to shoot with the camera, but you can only use 1 60th of a second in those situations, which gives you a little bit less flexibility. Now, the batteries are easy to find, but if you find yourself in a situation where you're out and about, and you're shooting and your batteries die and you can't get them quickly, then you're kind of out of luck unless you're able to shoot at 1 60th of a second for all your photos. It just gives you less creative control in those scenarios. Now, if you're doing a price comparison, you're also not gonna find very much of a difference between these two cameras. When I was researching prices online for this episode, I went to eBay and both of these cameras are selling between $150 and $300 for the body only on a consistent basis. Now it seems like the F3 sells for a little bit higher, but you can find both of them for around the same price. So with price not being the big deal breaker on either side, which camera will I go with? Now, this is a tough decision and it's gonna come down to personal taste for everybody, but for me personally, I prefer the Nikon F3. Ultimately for me, it's just a more satisfying experience to shoot with the Nikon F3. So that's the camera that I would like to go for. It just feels better to shoot with the camera. It feels more precise. And I just have a better experience overall when I'm shooting with the camera. Now, ultimately a camera is just a tool to achieve your vision. And both of the cameras are very similar in terms of feature sets. So for me, what it boiled down to is which camera do I enjoy shooting with more? And that's the Nikon F3. So which Nikon camera do you prefer? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've done full reviews on each of these cameras and I'll link to those videos down in the description. Now we'll see you soon folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.